I'm Gwen Ridenour with the Steam Powered Classroom, and today I'm going to talk to you about awesome science books for kids. I've selected four series based on fantastic illustrations and really good science, ones that I think kids will pick up on their own and read. And the first series I'm going to share with you is a graphic novel selection. Uh, these are uh, these feature Max Axiom, and Max Axiom, kind of like Spider-Man, was uh, involved in a freak science accident, and now he has superpowers that lets him shrink down, ride sound waves. Do cool stuff like that to help you, to help the reader explore different science concepts. This one, there's tons of these, dozens of these. Um, so any science uh, aspect you're looking at, he's going to have a title on it. This one's Cell Life. And I'll give you an idea of what the inside looks like. So just a traditional graphic novel format. The illustrations are fun. The dialogue is good, and the science is very sound. Um, biology, cell life. We have some physics, forces in motion. We have. Uh, a group, the amazing work scientists do. We have some more physics. Here's about energy. Back to biology. You've got genes, chemistry. You've got chemical reactions, uh, botany. You've got photosynthesis going on, states of matter. And these are just a few of the many titles out there. So check these out definitely. The second graphic novel uh, series I'm going to share with you has a bit of a darker twist, but funny. These are the Monster Science series, and I love these. These are so fun. So primarily they have physics titles, but they're starting to expand, and they've got a couple of biology, um, and I'm uh, really excited to see where they go with these. Um, this one is Mummies and Sound, and so if you've got a monster fan in your family, this is for you. Um, so in the Mummies one, it's going to focus on sound and talk about how it works, how sound waves work, and do it all through um, you know, the story of this mummy. We've got Vampires and Light. We've got Frankenstein's Monster and the Scientific Method. Uh, here's one, Vampires and Cells. I just think they're hilarious. Ghosts and Atoms. Aliens and Energy. And here's one on uh, Bigfoot and Adaptation. So a lot of these monsters are kind of naturally combined with the physics that they are going to um, look at, or the biology that they're going to look at. So, again, they're just really fun. And here's one, uh, Werewolves and States of Matter. So, love those. Uh, the next series I'm going to share with you, these aren't graphic novel series, the next two, but they're, again, they're very, um, very well illustrated and just fun. They're so fun to pick up. This one just came out this, um, we just got this in the library this week. This uh, features Wiley Coyote, because as you know, if you watch these um, cartoons, the coyote is always creating these crazy experiments to try to get the Roadrunner. And there's a lot of physics naturally in the cartoons. And so this series takes advantage of that. And so this one is Wiley Coyote Experiments with States of Matter. And it's all in him trying to track down that Roadrunner, all the things that he does that always fail um, to catch the Roadrunner. But it talks about the physics and the science behind his experiments. Um, this one is Forces in Motion. This one is Simple Machines. And this one is He Experiments with Energy. So I really like that series too. Okay, and the last series I'm going to show you for now is Batman Science. This is another one that we just got in the library this week, and I'm very excited about it because if you've got a superhero fan in your family, they're going to love this. Um, it goes through the different things Batman uses to catch the bad guys, his armor, his car, his tools, his the cool stuff that makes him Batman. And then it talks about the science behind it. So what, what part of this is, you know, is real and how it works and um, all that good stuff. So would highly recommend this series, yeah, for your superhero fan. And there's so many of these. They're so fun. You, just, you can compare them. You can use one from Wile E. Coyote. I mean, you, you could find the Forces in Motion one from one of each series and just have a whole party, you know, reading these graphic novels and giving kids a choice as to which way they want to go. So... I hope you enjoyed those. The titles and the author's names are all in the comments below, so be sure to check that out, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.